Today we're going to talk about my CNC Motors story. No, I didn't buy a car through them or sell my car through them, but I came really close. And I'm going to show you guys how close I came with all the evidence that I have. And I'm going to be very, very thankful that it didn't go through because some unfortunate people out there really got screwed over. All right, it's a little windy out here as you can see. So why don't we go somewhere a little bit more quiet? All right, let's go to the garage. Let's go. All right, we're back in the garage. All right, guys, I just want to tell you my CNC motor story real quick. So this happened in March 2020, just right when the lockdown started with COVID-19. Um, I remember getting my Boxer Spider smogged uh, as it came into California. I have to get it smogged and watching the announcement in the waiting room in the smog check station that we were going on 14 day lockdown. So at the same time, I was ready to get on my 2018 GT3. Um, it was a beautiful car. I love that car, but I was just ready to get rid of it. You car guys know, even the most perfect cars, they just have to go sometimes, go to a better home, all right? Say la vie, baby. Now, Here's the details of the CNC Motors deal that almost happened. I'm going to show you some text messages and um, some emails to prove that I, I was working on a deal with them. I wanted to buy a vintage car. I was going to either get an older Porsche, maybe a 964 um, Targa. It was slate gray. It was pretty sweet. Um, really low miles. I was also looking at some uh, all sorts of GT3 RSs and uh, older Ferraris. You guys watch the videos, you know which car I ended up with, but this is kind of how I got to that point. This is a, uh, a stepping stone on that journey. So they have a Frog RS listed at CNC Motors. It's listed on eBay. Unfortunately, I can't find the listing anymore. I didn't print it out at the time. The listing ID just comes up as a no, uh, no information. I guess when you list something on eBay and then you cancel it without it being completed or sold or somebody doesn't buy it now, I guess it just it doesn't stay in the system, um, which is unfortunate. But um, the frog they had was listed for 249000 and uh, the person I talked to, uh, last name Tom, I'm not going to give the first name, I assume it's just a family member. Uh, of course, all those names came out later. Uh, much more recently in the Normal Guy Supercar channel. And um, I just want to keep a little bit of privacy just for respect. I just want to share my story. And you guys feel free to comment below in the comment section. So it was uh, a frog listed for 249000 And in the email I'm showing you, they're willing to sell it to me for $199,000. Um, they were just offering me that price privately, I suppose. And the price on the website still stayed at 249000 So what I wanted to do to make the deal um, fair and attractive to me was get 150 k for my car as a trade-in value and buy the Frog for 180 k Basically pay into um, a Frog paying, paying out 50 k I thought it was a reasonable uh, transaction to pay 50 k and trade into a Frog. So uh, the reason I, I came up with that number, there was a frog sold by Black Horse Motors uh, in Florida for 164000 and a, a few more miles on it, but I thought it was a really good sales comp, okay? I had the title to my GT3 in hand, no loan, and I was ready to make a deal, but um, we, just didn't, we just didn't come to terms. Uh, we talked back and forth a few times, but I guess we just never, um, we never really saw eye to eye. And I wasn't really confident that the frogs were going to be a good investment because those really seemed to um, go up and down on the price scale. I know they, at some point they peaked close to 300 and right around now they're, they're bouncing around 220 to 250, depending on condition, of course. So... I may not make the best decisions with used cars, but I think I really dodged a bullet on this one. What do you guys think? What are the chances this deal was real at the time? I mean, with all the stories that have come out, who knows, right? Who knows? Do you, do you know? Do you guys know anybody that ended up buying that frog 
and did it go through or was it added to that list of DMV fraud? I'm just so curious in the back of my mind. I'm just so curious. So it was at the time of sale, it had 8,602 miles listed on it. That's about, I don't even have the VIN, but uh, that's about the only information I had on it um, retained to this point. And just a funny note is that um, a tactic they used to try to get me to close the deal was they, they said, uh, the same day I asked about the car and proposed my deal terms, they said if uh, we're not going to uh, get that deal closed between him and I, CNC Motors and I, that they were going to go ahead and wholesale that car to a Porsche dealership. So I responded immediately saying, well, hey, I'm not going to make a decision today or be ready today. Go ahead and sell it, right? If, if, if it's real, then forget it. I don't want to think about the car. Go ahead and sell it to somebody else. But apparently that wasn't real. It was still available an hour later and, and a couple weeks later we kept in touch. So is that a common dealership tactic that if you don't buy the car, I'm just going to wholesale it out? I don't know, comment below. Is that just a, a thing they all say? <laughs> and um, so that was the end of it, okay? We didn't, um, we didn't end up closing that deal. And I wonder if I had traded my car in and given my signed my title over to them and I received the frog and then um, I didn't even think about getting the title and I started modifying the frog, because you guys know me, I'm going to start modifying that car immediately. There's a huge aftermarket support, especially Sharkworks is right around the corner. So um, I probably would have started modifying it and had not had any clue that the title was missing until probably months later. And I'm just so thankful that that didn't happen to me. I'm just... Um, grateful because some doors you knock and they don't open and it's for your own good okay and I'm just so relieved I might have dodged a bullet then jumped into the Ferrari frying pan as you guys can see in the videos but uh, maintenance can be fixed missing titles uh, I don't know how to fix that okay there's a hundred really unfortunate people out there trying to sort that issue out. And I'm glad I'm not one of them. I really feel bad for those guys. And uh, I do sympathize with them a great deal. And I hope some somebody comes up with a solution for those guys and, and girls. So anyway, that's all I got for the video. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If this is the first time you're hearing about a CNC motor story, you're living under a rock, check out Normal Guy Supercar car Channel. And um, there's a bunch of articles online as well. That's where I heard it from. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.